everybody, Dawn here from CFG, here with another interview at the Mesa Convention Center for Comic and Media Expo. Today I am here with Jay's Cosplay with Amy and Lance. Um, they are notably known for producing movie quality uh, costumes as well as armor and also with a little touch of acting in order to make the characters stand out. Um, so what I'm going to do today is just ask you guys a couple of questions pertaining to cosplay and then a couple of random questions outside of cosplay. Uh, so for the first question, how do you like cosplaying as a couple? Are there any unbearable moments or what are some of the neat things as for cosplaying as a couple? Oh, no unbearable moments at all. Absolutely not. Absolutely love it. None whatsoever. We work as a team or not at all, eh? All right. Well, that's really good to know. Cosplaying as a couple is very time consuming sometimes because you also have to help each other, you know, make make cosplays and also help each other get into character too. Is that right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. It's a great team effort. A great team effort. All right, teamwork. Do you think that movies produced in recent years, probably more notably Marvel films, have been the main reason for why cosplay is so popular now? I, you know, I say a lot. It has contributed to a lot because it has such an expansive audience when it comes to like film, um, more so than you know tight knit genres. So yeah, I do. I think that, and I'm happy for it. You know, though I. We encourage people like to cosplay and let that you know be celebrated. Absolutely, I agree with everything she said. <laughs> All right. <laughs> are you familiar with the sci-fi show Face Off? Yes. Yeah, what are your thoughts on it? We love it. We absolutely love it. We we wish more people would do more more stuff like Face Off. We love the innovation that that show has and everything that they show you just on what to do and how to construct pretty much everything. Same. All right. <laughs> Same. Same. All right. All right. Oh, when judging a competition, what are you most critical about? Uh, God, there's, I mean, there's so many elements that, you know, really you do kind of want to be critical about, right. you know, um, especially with prop making and stitching and accuracy, mm. you know, how much time and at what percentage that actually, no, mm. I take it back. What percentage of the costume did they do? That's a huge, you know, huge piece to say, you know, okay, your skill levels here or here, and you know, so putting categorizing people in their in the right genres and categories for their skill levels are is very important. So we love to see when people, you know, at, at, for example, at masters levels, you know, really put everything 100% into that. Online, yeah. yeah, and you know, that shows a lot of dedication. You know, you don't have to be perfect but if the heart's there it'll show in the costume and it'll show in the performance mm -hmm. right. so. showmanship above anything really since you two have very extensive backgrounds in acting what is your biggest advice for cosplayers who want to get into character study study your character obviously if they're going to be cosplaying this one they have a love for it so it's it's mo like embrace that character practice you know like live that character in everyday life be uh, what we call what we are method actors you know you really just dive into that and just become it it's the essence it's not just putting on the costume be it you know don't be afraid you know just go for it practice if you have accents you know just mimic and practice that and yeah, practice mannerisms you know watch the the character study the character pretty much rum just <laughs> Have some rum and you will be in character like that. What is one movie that you're guilty of seeing? Guilty of seeing? Yeah, one that maybe most people don't expect you to watch, but you, but you love to watch anyway. Oh, God. There's actually quite a few. We just have a whole... A guilty a pleasure, huh? Yeah. yeah. Probably Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> what would be yours? I, there's so many, I don't know, like the first thing about Club Dread, okay. pizza paella, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When you were little, did you want to be something else other than actors and cosplayers? No. Nope, pretty much this was our dream ever since yeah. we were we wee high, so. It's the, pa the passions there literally since birth. Like yeah, my job, first yeah. play was in third grade, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's cool. That's quite a while ago too. For three three years old, that's really really early. Well, third third grade. Or third grade. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. What are some things on your bucket list? Like to dos. Hmm. Inspiring the world to cosplay. 
You know, do not be afraid of it. Just embrace it. Have heart for it, and you'll never lose. Uh, hmm. Traveling to outer space would be nice. That's a good bucket list thing. That's I don't probably know, a first realistically. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Realistically, we're actually accomplishing another bucket list this um, Halloween, doing Disney in costume. Oh, so very nice. that's another thing Here's on the one. list. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. One to look forward to. <laughs> All right. This one is a really tough question. Let's say for one year, which one would you give up more, acting or costume making? Neither. Neither. They're all, they're they're one in the same. Like they're intertwined for us. They're intertwined. They they go hand in hand. Yeah. So yeah. Can't really give up either one. No, without yeah. acting, we we almost kind of can't bring the character fully to life the way we we would like. So we have that both. Love costume making. Like love it passionately. Love it. So yeah. Can't right. can't, we can can't give, give it up either. We can never give it up. All right. All right. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.